Shalom Yaladim, and welcome to another edition of Zoom Gali Gali News. I come to you on location from Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel, in honor of Israel's 73rd birthday. It is Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel Independence Day, and it's a celebration filled with parades and music and food and fun. I'm going to share with you a story today about a friend, Engineer Ariel, in the Israel Independence Day surprise. I hope you enjoy it. Engineer Ariel and the Israel Independence Day surprise. Engineer Ariel sang in the shower. She grinned while brushing her teeth. She skipped to her closet to put on her train conductor's uniform. Then she grabbed a rolled up poster and danced toward the apartment door. Mid pirouette, Ariel heard her brother Ezra laugh. You're certainly happy today. Of course I am, said Ariel. It's Israel's birthday, Yom Ha'atzma'ut. It's too bad that we both have to work today while everybody else has a holiday, said Ezra. We won't even get to see each other. Not true, Ariel reminded him. I'll see you, even if you don't see me. Everyone in Israel will see you today. I suppose you're right, chuckled Ezra. Ariel looked at her watch. Oops, I've got to go. Ariel jumped onto her scooter, tucking her poster behind her seat. She zoomed off, weaving through Jerusalem's traffic. Beep, beep. She passed the old train station. Trains no longer stopped at the old station. Now cafes filled the space. Ariel thought of her great-great-grandfather, Engineer Ari, who drove the first train from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem into that very station over 100 years ago. Ariel was named after him. Great-great-grandpa Ari, whispered Ariel. I'm a train engineer, just like you. Ariel rode her scooter up a hill and down into a valley. She passed falafel stands, vegetable markets, and playgrounds. Beep, beep, zoom, zoom. At Jerusalem's new light rail train station, she waved to the car and parked her scooter. Before every shift, Ariel inspected her sleek, beautiful train. But today she had a special task. Carrying the poster, she carefully climbed a ladder and taped the poster to the roof of the train. In her conductor seat, Ariel sat in front of her controls, computer screens, knobs, and levers. Lickety split, she started the train and pulled out of the station right on time. The train hummed to its first stop. The doors opened with a buzz. People piled into the train. Yom Ha'atzma'ut Sameach, called Ariel cheerfully. Happy Independence Day. The train hummed through Jerusalem, picking up passengers and dropping them off. Ring, ring, buzz, buzz. Doors open, doors closed. Hum, hum. The train stopped at the old city. A computerized voice announced, Damascus Gate. Ariel saw her friend Sarah getting off the train. Yom Hatzmut Sameach, Sarah, where are you headed? I'm going to the Kotel, said Sarah. Every Independence Day, I go to the Western Wall to put a note into the wall praying for peace in Israel. How will you celebrate today, Ariel? I'm going to celebrate with my brother. We'll all celebrate with him. What do you mean, asked Sarah. But before Ariel could answer, Sarah was swept into the crowd, leaving the train and waving goodbye. Buzz, buzz. The doors closed, hum, hum. Ariel drove the train up Jaffa Road where hundreds of people had gathered for a street party. The computerized voice announced, Merkaz Yafo, Jaffa Center. Ariel spotted her cousin Talia stepping off the train. It's so crowded in here, I almost didn't see you, laughed Ariel. Are you meeting somebody? Yes, my friends from the army. Do you wanna join us? You aren't going to work all day, are you? I'll see Ezra later and celebrate with him, said Ariel. We'll all celebrate with him. What? Well, come meet us here. Text me when you finish work, said Talia. Bring Ezra. 
I don't think he can come, laughed Ariel. Buzz, buzz, the doors closed. Hum, hum, the train started up a small hill. Ariel stopped the train at a large market. The computerized voice announced, Machana Yehuda. Ariel saw her neighbor, Eitan. Ah, Ariel, said Eitan. I thought my wife had bought food for our Yom Hatz Ma'ud barbecue, but she thought that I bought it. So here I am at the Shuk, the market. Are you going to a picnic or barbecue after work to celebrate the holiday? I'll see my brother Ezra later, said Ariel, and I'll celebrate with him. We'll all celebrate with him. All Israel celebrates together, doesn't it, said Eitan. One mishpacha, one family. Buzz, buzz, the doors closed. Hum, hum, the train continued on. Ariel pulled into the train stop at the central bus station. From there, travelers could go anywhere in Israel. Ariel saw two of her friends getting off the train with backpacks. Jesse, Benny, where are you headed? Tel Aviv, said Benny. I'm going to visit Independence Hall, where David Ben-Gurion declared Israel a country in 1948, said Jesse. I just want to go to the beach, laughed Benny. Come with us, Ariel. I can't, laughed Ariel. I have a train to drive. Besides, I'll see my brother later and celebrate with him. We'll all celebrate with him. Bring your brother to Tel Aviv, called Benny. He's already going to Tel Aviv, laughed Ariel, and to Haifa, Tiberias, Beersheba, and a lot. Buzz, buzz, the doors closed. Hum, hum, the train continued on over a magnificent bridge built to look like King David's harp. Ariel heard rumbling in the air. The moment had arrived. A group of Israeli Air Force planes roared across the horizon. The planes twirled, pranced, and pirouetted across the blue sky, leaving a white trail that spelled Israel. Ariel stopped the train and spoke into the microphone. Yom ha'atzma utzameach, my friends. My brother Ezra is flying the lead plane. I taped a sign to the train's roof for him to see. Let's go outside and celebrate with him. People eagerly scrambled off the train and onto the bridge. Ariel held her breath as Ezra's plane roared through the sky. Then Ezra dipped low enough toward the train bridge. He waved from the cockpit. Ariel and the passengers cheered. Yom ha'atzma'ut sameach. Happy Independence Day, Israel. Well, Yeladim, I hope you enjoyed that story about our special country, Israel, and her birthday. Yom Hatz Mu'ut Sameach and Lahitra Ot. See you soon.